वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई थिंक यू मे ऑल आर फाइन राइट ऑल ऑफ यू स्टे होम स्टे सेफ लर्न वेल फॉर यूर एग्जामिनेशन ओके स्टूडेंट्स टूडे इन दिस क्लास लेट अस रिवाइज फर्स्ट चैप्टर वंस अगेन प्लांट रिप्रोडक्शन चैप्टर सो इन दिस चैप्टर फर्स्ट की वर्ड इज ओके कॉटिलिडंस मींस हियर सीड लीव्स ओके सीड लीव्स दैट स्टोर फूड फॉर दी ग्रोइंग प्लांट ओके ग्रोइंग न्यू प्लांट और ए बेबी प्लांट ओके एंड नेक्स्ट की वर्ड इज एम्ब्रियो एम्ब्रियो इज द बेबी प्लांट इनसाइड ए सीड दैट ग्रोस इनटू ए न्यू प्लांट ओके and next keyword is seedling seedling means a young plant that grows out of seed is called seedling next keyword here is seed dispersal scattering of seeds away from the parental plant is called seed dispersal okay next keyword is crop crop means a plant that grown on a farm in large numbers is called crop usually farmers grow different kinds of crops next keyword is rabi rabi is, is crop grown in winter season is called rabi crop okay and here next keyword is corif corif means crops that grow in in summer crop that grow in summer season is called corif okay here next keyword is insecticides and pesticides okay it is a substances used for killing insects and other pest that destroy crops is called insecticides and pesticides okay and here last keyword is irrigation irrigation means supply of sufficient amount of water to plants in the agricultural field or a in a planting field regularly is called irrigation okay next first main here name the following okay in that फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए क्वेश्चन आउटर कवरिंग ऑफ ए सीड ओके आउटर कवरिंग ऑफ ए सीड इज कॉल्ड एज सीड कोट राइट हियर नेक्स्ट बी क्वेश्चन द पार्ट ऑफ ए सीड दैट कंटेन्स स्टोर्ड फूड फॉर द बेबी प्लांट डैश द पार्ट ऑफ ए सीड दैट कंटेन्स स्टोर्ड फूड फॉर द बेबी प्लांट इज कॉटिलिडंस ओके and next c question here the part of a seed that grows into a young plant dash the part of a seed that grows into a young plant is embryo okay embryo grows into young plant okay next d question crops grown in winter dash crops grown in winter is called rabi next e question crops grown in summer is corif okay here next important questions are choose the correct options okay in that a question seed leaves are also known as okay first option cotyledon second option seedlings third option embryo fourth option plantlets okay seed leaves are also known as cotyledons okay so answer is first option cotyledons okay and next b question what do seeds need to grow into new plants okay what are the requirements for seed to grow into a new plants here okay air first option air second option water third option right amount of warmth and fourth option all of the seeds need air water right amount of warmth all of these right so 
Fourth option is correct option. All of these. And next C question. Potatoes grows from. Okay. First option seeds. Second option stems. Third option roots. Fourth option leaves. Okay. Correct answer is stems. Okay. Second option stems. Potatoes are underground stem. Okay. So second option is stem. Okay. And here next D question. Which of the following plants grow by the process of stem cutting? Okay. Here first option P. Second option rose. Third option sweet potato. Fourth option carrot. Okay. Here correct answer is rose. Rose plants grow by the process of stem cuttings. Okay. And here next E question. Spores are usually found on the underside of the dash of the fern plants. Okay. Here first option roots. Second option stem. Third option leaves. Fourth option branches. Okay. Correct answer is leaves. So spores are usually found on the underside of the leaves of the fern plants. Okay. And next important topic in the chapter answer in brief. Okay. In that a question what are the different ways through which plants reproduce. Okay. Answer is plants reproduce through seeds, roots, leaves and spores. Right. Some of the plants produce new plants by seeds. Right. And some of the plants produce new plants by roots. Some of the plants produce new plant by leaves. Some of the plants like ferns produce new plants by spores. Okay. Like this. Plant reproduce through seeds, roots, leaves and spores. Okay. Next B question. Name different parts of a seed. Answer is seed coat, cotyledons and embryo are the various parts of a seed. Okay. And next C question. Define term germination. So answer here is the process by which a seed starts growing into a seedling is called seed germination or a germination. Okay. The process by which a seed starts growing into a seedling is called germination. And next D question. List a conditions necessary for a seed to germinate. Okay. Answer is a seed needs air, water and warmth to germinate. Okay. And here next E question. What are the special features of the seeds that get dispersed by wind? Okay. So here answer is seeds that are dispersed by a wind have hair like structures which help them to be parachuted to far away places okay wind dispersed seeds have hair like structures okay for example calotropes okay in that plant seed they have hair like structures okay which help them to flaying or a parachuted to far away okay far away places the next f question name the different stages of agriculture answer is the different stages of agriculture are plugging adding manure or fertilizers sowing irrigating harvesting and sorting okay these are all the different stages of agriculture okay first we are going to plugging right plugging the soil and again we are going to adding manure or fertilizers right we are going to give fertilizers or a manure to the soil right and next we are going to sowing seeds and next we are going to irrigating lands right and after irrigating 
we are going to harvesting okay after harvesting we are going to sorting right and next g question why do plants produce many seeds answer is plants produce many seeds so that at least some of them grow into new plants okay so plants produce many seeds okay but even many plants produces only single seed also okay majority of the plants produces many seeds okay in that at least some of them grow into new plants okay healthier seeds grow into new plants in this chapter here sixth main answer in detail okay in that a question why don't all the seeds of a plant grow into new plants answer okay all the seeds of a plant do not grow into new plants because some seeds are not healthy and some are destroyed by a wind and heavy rains and some are eaten by birds and insects and some seeds may not get the right conditions to grow into new plants okay so because of that all seeds do not grow into a new plant next here b question is what is seed dispersal why is it important okay answer is the scattering of seeds away from the mother plant is called seed dispersal there will not be enough space warmth or nutrients if all the seeds grow close to the mother plant the seeds dispersed far and wide will get enough sunlight air water and space to grow so the seed dispersal is very important for plants and here next c question how are animals helpful in the dispersal of seeds answer is many animals eat juicy fruits of plants and thereby help in seed dispersal right and some of the wild animals like bear these are all eat plants product right plants product like leaves fruit okay and thereby help in seed dispersal okay the undigested seeds come out in their droppings okay in the form of fecus and all okay which can be far away from the parent plants also seeds of some plants have hooks which stick to the fur of the animals and are carried away for places okay like this animals helpful in the dispersal of seeds here next d question how do farmers protect their crops answer is farmers protect their crops from grazing animals by building fences around their field okay some of the farmers building fence around their farming land right because of to protect from grazing animals and a scare crow in the field keeps the birds away farmers also use insecticides and pesticides to protect the plants from insects pests rats and moles okay and here next e question draw the structure of a seed and label its parts okay this is also a important question so the different parts of a seed are seed coat cotyledons and embryo are the various parts of a seed all of you see here in left side this is the typical seed okay the outer covering layer of the seed is called seed coat okay seed coat protects the seed and uh, there will be a small hole 
right that is seed hole allows air and water to enter the seed and uh, the embryo okay embryo here the small leaf like structure that is embryo grows into a new plant okay and there will be a two bean like structures on the both side right this is called cotyledons okay cotyledons are called seed leaves okay it also store food for the baby plant students this is revision of first chapter okay plant reproduction tomorrow in online class i am going to give online test for this chapter okay all of you prepare well Thank you.